Hello. So I've got an, an interesting question here, um, which I've extracted out of one, one of my um, A-level books, and um, it's it's quite a common question I think at this level. Um, one will will come across a, a similar uh, a similar question um, uh, uh, quite regularly, I think. Um, and I know uh, actu actually on on the exams, um, you might also come across a question of of a similar style. Um, and the solution may not be Im immediately uh, uh, obvious, but um, in any case, we'll just work through it. Um, so for question A, or for part A of this question, it, it we're asked to find the range of values of k for which x squared minus kx plus k plus 3 equals 0, and it has no real roots. Now, that is the, that is the key piece of information. It has no real roots. because That immediately sets us up to understand how, how we're going to solve this um, and what, our, what form our solution uh, might be because it's asking us to find the range of values. So first thing we do is just write this out. It's x squared minus kx plus k plus 3 set to equal 0. Now it has no real roots so we know that b squared minus 4 a c is going to be less than zero, right? The discriminant will be less than zero. That that is the key uh, thing to realize here. I think um, is that by uh, uh, telling us that it has no real roots, one should immediately think of the discriminant, and uh, b squared minus four c is going to be set to be less than zero. Now we just need to uh, well we know that this is going to be a, that's going to be b, and c is going to be k plus three. So now we can just basically plug it in to um, our discriminant, and b is k, so it's going to be k squared minus 4 times a. a is just 1, and c is k plus 3. Plus 3, and all of that set uh, uh, is less than 0. And so we can just uh, simplify all of this, and we end up with k squared minus 4k minus 12. Less, is less than zero, and now we just need to to basically solve this uh, this quadratic um, by by uh, factorizing it out, and we will have our our uh, we'll be able to find our, our range of values for uh, of k, uh, and so a c here is a negative twelve, and uh, we need to find what multiplies the negative twelve and adds to negative four. Uh, what stands out is two and six. And if we make 2 negative, then 2 plus minus 6 is negative 4. So those are our two factors, 2 and 6. We have k squared plus 2k minus 6k. Um, oops. Minus 6k minus 12 is less than 0. Factor out a k here. We end up with k plus 2. We factor out a negative 6. We end up with k plus 2. And therefore, we have uh, k plus 2, or k minus 6. And so our range of values of k, um, we could say that k is going to be greater than negative 2, right? Because this would be negative 2, and uh, less than 6. That will be 6, positive 6. And so that's the answer for part a. And part B is 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 exact same uh, process uh, and the same logic uh, here. So it says uh, find the range of values of p for which the roots of the equation p x squared plus p x minus two equals zero are real. So it has real roots, uh, and that uh, Im immediately tells us uh, a very uh, or. Uh, conveys a very important piece of information, which is going to be b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0, right? Because if, if we have greater, if we have real roots, uh, the discriminant will be greater than 0. And now again, we just need to find, we need to find, um, we need to uh, uh, find the, I'm just going to draw this, drag this down, and rewrite px squared plus px minus 2 equals 0. So we just need to plug in our values, right? So a, that's b, and that's c. So b squared is just going to be p squared minus 4 times a is just p, and c is negative 2. 
and so we end up with p squared um, that's a 2 plus um, 8 p and of course that is set to uh, be greater than 0, greater than 0. We factor out a p here and we end up with p plus 8 is greater than 0 uh, and so um, our, our, our range of values of p we could say that p is going to be greater than negative 8, right, because that's negative 8, um, and it's going to be less than, not less than 0, right there. So, um, yeah, they're fairly straightforward problems, but they're very common, uh, and um, really one just has to look for that piece of information where it conveys to us that has no real roots, or in this case that the roots are real, and one can immediately then think of the discriminant, and that's the, really the key to unlocking these types of questions.